Hey everybody, welcome to LS Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching the channel as always. We've got a Power Smart push mower in today. And man, if this is the way that uh, push mowers are becoming here, uh, the future is bleak and cheap, that's for sure. Y'all seen me have one other on the channel, and it was a brand new one that I got in Walmart customer returns years ago. This is not too far when I started the channel. Uh, and uh, the reception of that was mixed because I had a video of me putting it together and I guess it didn't do it very well. Either way, uh, we've got this is the second one I've ever had. Uh, it was given to me for free, which is cool. It is running, but the self repel is not working. Uh, this thing is cheap though. Ooh. I'll show you around it and uh, just kind of give you all a glimpse of everything about it. See if we can get the self-propel fix on it. If not, I mean, I have no dollars in it and probably can sell it for about 100 as it is with no self-propel. Uh, but I've got some belts and stuff. If I need to replace the belt. My feeling is that the belt just slipped off, probably because this has, I think this uh, more will been cut in Bermuda, and I think it probably just got clogged up and all thick and whatnot in the, uh, the uh, self-propel plastic housing because Bermuda likes to uh, find its way into certain places and uh, clog up some stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, ellis at ellismowers.com or at ellismowers09 on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll show you around this mower. We'll see if we can get the self-propel fixed. All right, guys, this is uh, what you call an overseas special right here, straight from, uh, straight off the boat. Uh, what I can tell off the top, like I said, I've had it running already. It's been running rich for some reason. And it's got this generic 170cc engine on it. It is a primer bulb. Primer bulb is just a knockoff of a Briggs primer bulb, but it's, it's on the air filter housing. All of that works. The air filter was a little dirty, and it's just a little bitty foam air filter. Gas is full in it. Uh, guy must have lost some hardware because he had this over with mechanics wire on it. And like I said, the self propel does not work, although the cables do. So I think we're going to be okay when it comes to that. It looks like the you uh, do the up and down by the axle instead of by the individual wheel. It's basically a knockoff of a Troy build if I were to think of it. But the Briggs engines are so much better than these. The blade is dull, but it'll be salvageable. Underneath the mower looks okay, but if I can get it out for y'all, I'll show you that it runs, but the self-propel doesn't work. So let's do that. I mean, everything about this mower just feels cheap. Even the, the deck feels thin. The plastics feel cheap. The wheels kind of look like they're going to break off any moment. I'll, I'll even do a flex test for y'all here. You can see running wise it's fine uh self propel wise it does not work it is rear drive self propel so that will be a huge plus if i can get that working again the transmission does lock i'll show you whenever i pull the handle and try and pull it back so that does lead me to believe that it's a belt issue so let me get this uh let me get the tools that i need we'll get it on the side see if we can get this thing to uh get the cover off of it to see if we can get the self-propel working again and if we can that'll be awesome and then it's just a matter of uh you know servicing it cleaning it up sharpening the blade and getting this thing out of here hopefully for a late season sale all right so we are getting the blade off i've already gotten the blade off just using a 13 millimeter and a half inch 
Then you take the blade key off. That looks like that goes in on the inside, so be careful when you come to that. And it looks like there's a key or something along those lines instead of like a insert in the shaft. So that's kind of interesting. But we're now we're at the point where we're going to take off some 10 mils just for the plastic here. It looks like we might just only have two of them. One right here and one right there. And hopefully this thing will just come off. Yeah, hey, hey there it is. Literally just the belt just slipped off. Hopefully this is a fluke thing. You can see there's a bunch of junk and stuff on the belt itself. So it is possible. And then are there some guides on? There's not really any guides on this thing. So it's kind of like how in the world does it stay on the shaft? We'll have to do a little testing to make sure. It could have just been they got it caught up in a bind and it just slid off the shaft or something. I mean, it ain't really that much of a... Like there's nothing even on top of it here belt condition overall seems like it's okay got a little bit of like i said a little bit of junk on it it's nothing ridiculous in there though so got some crud back here on the bottom but nothing like nothing crazy or anything of that nature uh so yeah that was all it was so sort of thought Makes me think though, like what in the world keeps it on the, I guess just the tension. So I don't know if it's just getting a little worn or like I said, if they got it caught in a bind or something along those lines. Got it slid off. You don't ever know. It's more, look, I look, it's only about two years old. It looks like it's lived a fairly hard life in those, in those two years, so. spot I did not really wanting to hold right there but it'll be fine put this key back on here oh, hopefully anyways come on now there we go and the blade this is those new style blades where you have an issue. I'm going to sharpen this blade before I put it back on because I'm hoping I don't have to take it off again. It's one of those new style blades that got them weird keyways in there so that you can't just go buy a generic universal one and put it on there. So, And of course this keyway right here is one that you can't really replace with a Briggs one either. Or one that's universal that you can find at the store. So I don't know in terms of parts availability what, you know, this thing's going to be like because they aren't on the market they have not been on the market for very long it almost kind of looks like we've got some cracks beginning to form at the bottom of the deck down here goodness gracious all right so i'll sharpen the blade and all it is is i've just got to get it back on slide it into those keyways and put the 13 millimeter back on with the washer and i'm good to go so i'm not going to film that we'll get this thing back up and see if we can get the self propelled work and continue to work again and see if we're going to be okay uh, when it comes to that so i will be right back well i've got the blade back on and let's see if the self propel works and we'll stay working I mean, sounds good. Seems to work fine. I'll uh, I'll give it a little test test run here. 
what I'm going to do off camera, glad this is as easy as it was, because I was told it also may have had running issues, but it seems like it's doing okay. Uh, one thing I'm going to do off camera is fix this hardware, like get this mechanics wire out of here, and uh, put some proper hardware down here so that it doesn't, so that the handle doesn't do like that. And the whole setup on this thing is just so cheap, it's ridiculous. Probably find a, uh, one of those pull rope things put right there so that you don't have to reach all the way down. I've got tons of those. And to give it a nice cleaning. Also came with a bag, so that's a plus. And with it being a rear drive self-propelled mower, it should pull like 140 bucks or something like that. So uh, an hour's worth of work for a free mower, $140. We'll just do the sticker justice and go ahead and take it off. Should be good. Let me get that taken care of. I'll show you the final product on this thing, unless uh, any other problems arise on it. One other thing I am going to do is loosen up that self-propel handle, and that looks like that's just a few 10 millimeters and some screwing, or a 10 millimeter wrench and just some screwing in. So I'm going to take care of that as well, and it's just a matter of adjusting it a little bit because it's a little tight on the back end. I don't want this cable to be. Uh, busting because it's already dented a little bit from where it was folded and the handle was folded so got to be careful with that so i'll catch y'all when i finish this thing up all right guys i got it cleaned up and basically ready for sale took pictures of it before i test ran with it and of course it just got grass all over the back there that bermuda is some that rough stuff when it comes to getting everywhere uh just the residuals for it so like I said, it runs it runs fine. I mean, it's just this thing just feels cheap, looks cheap. Like I mentioned, it's already had a couple of small cracks on the deck down there on the bottom. And nothing I can really do about that. Um, still, even at its current state, this thing will probably pull about $140 or so. That's what I'll list it for. I'll probably take $120 for it. Um, for a quick comparison, here's the Power Smart, and then here's a Troy built from 2013, which they're basically still making the same thing now. And you can just see, even though these are cheap, cheap grade mowers, they still look a lot better than this. At least, I don't know what the camera does any justice, but um, like I said, I took it over, took it down the driveway and whatnot, and the self propel is working. So I presume that the belt just slipped off of it, and they just called it a day uh, when that happened. And so that's how I get it, or that's how I got it. Everything I can tell this mower is from 2020. One other thing I did to it was put some bolts in with some nuts. Uh, I had to be a little creative. I had to take out the little plastic kind of fastener right there. I put a washer under there. That way it's not going to push through the plastic and I'm going to be back at square one with that. But still, look at the amount of play that this thing's got in it. And that's with me tightening everything down. Just that plastic, just been sitting in that plastic there. It's not very good. So. Um, we got, I mean, we got this thing going. This thing right here was free for me. Uh, didn't even have to go any extra to get it. It was uh, given to me to given to my cousin who was given to it to him by his neighbor, and I met him at the golf course and played some golf and got a free push mower and uh, spent an hour or so on this thing and got it back going again. Like I said, I'll make make my hundred and twenty five. And forty dollars, depending on who, depending on if the right person comes by. Uh, simply just by giving it a tune-up or uh, giving it a you know, blade sharpen and all that good stuff. Oil change needed to oil change. I think this guy just put the oil in it and just ran it till it quit. A little bit concerned about the self-propelled belt just because there's literally no guides around that thing. So there's really nothing that's going to prevent it from slipping off. Um, nothing really I can do under that plastic cover either. So that's kind of where we're at. It's kind of neat. Nice that it has a primer bulb though because uh, these 
cheapo engines need some help sometimes. You can all you can see this one runs a little rich or running rich right off the top. I don't know how that conforms to EPA stuff when it's actually running. I would think that, that would produce more pollution just in doing that than if it, with it running. But I'm not an expert on that. So I got this one going. Like I said, it's only the second one I've ever had. Um, not really impressed by these things. They're fairly cheap. But I guess they get the job done. I don't think they're going to last as, even as long as like a Troy built. Like I said, the deck seems to already be cracking in a couple of places. So um, somebody will somebody will need it though. And uh, these things I think are about just a shade under three hundred dollars at the store or online on Amazon wherever you get it. And uh, they can get it here for about half price. And basically, that's the same thing. So thank you all again for watching. Let me know your opinion on these power smart mowers. If you work on these things, let me know what you think about them. Uh, I've told y'all what I think about them, and uh, y'all, uh, y'all just share your experiences with them. I've heard a lot of them just blow up too, so uh, that's not a good thing either. So I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for checking out this Power Smart mower with me on this uh, relatively quick video here on LS Mowers. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to reach out to me ls at lsmowers.com or at lsmowers09 on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. See you then.